welcome to Cheeky Monkey Monday. This is February the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. And I wanted to get this video posted because Tinky is having a Valentine's Day party tomorrow. And this guy will be part of the fun. So I just want to make a quick introduction of him. This is an old Zippy by Rushton Monkey. He's from the 50s. Zippy was made in the same time frame as my Gund chump that I named Gundy. And um, Gundy was made by the Gund Company. Zippy here was made by the Rushton Company. They make quite a few different styles and sizes of Zippy the Chimp. He is fashioned after a real-life chimp Zippy that was on the Howdy Doody show. This guy has a very large head. Here's the remnants of his old tag, which is barely readable, but you can see Rushton on it. The story behind this guy is that I purchased him over a decade ago, and I took him apart, and um, he, was, he was in bad repair, and I took all of his old stuffing out. It was a mess. I washed his whole cloth body and he had felt feet which were just all ripped up and then I kind of put him in a bag after I washed his cloth body and he just sat all this time but I was looking for replacement feet for him I wasn't going to put the old felt feet back on, and I didn't really want to have felt feet at all. So, then I finally found these doll feet that I decided to replace on him. And no, they're not monkey feet, but just kind of a fun touch there. So now he has feet. This is a, like, a rubbery, bendable... This is very soft. His ears are soft. His hands are soft. But his feet from this other doll are like a... They're not a real hard vinyl. You could squeeze it, but it's a harder vinyl. So... <clears throat> his lip paint could use a little doing, but it's not bad. The eye paint and the nose paint's great. The fur is actually in very good condition. You see he's got lots of dandruff there from where... The old stuffing came out, and there was also some of those styrofoam balls in there. It was quite a mess. And I've brushed him, and I've vacuumed him, but we still have more. We'll just work at it. But you can see that, other than his arms and his head and fur, his body is a cloth. And that's where his clothes would have gone over. And originally, he had a yellow shirt that said Zip on it. He did have his original red pants with him, which I'm going to put back on him. He is quite a large guy. So I got his pants back on him. And I put a guard stick. It's right at the top of his head. And if you take it down, he's measuring 26 at the heel and 27 at the toe. So like I said, he is a large guy. So I have put all new stuffing in him. It's a newer fiberfill stuffing. He had that old stringy, nasty old cotton, whatever it was, stuffing. So, and I haven't closed his back up. And I also put wire armature in him. In his arms. So that his arms can bend 
and hold the pose, but they're still floppy. He's not like just stiff. And he has no armature in his legs. I don't know that I'm going to do that, but you can see the bend in his arm, whereas they were just straight. He has to find a shirt to wear because Tinky has a dress code for her Valentine's party. So we're going to get on that. We have a couple of more dolls to dress for the party. I do hope you will join us. We're going to have a lot of fun on Valentine's Day at Tinky's Valentine's Day party. Thanks for watching.